Right now, uh, how to find documents uh, faster on your Mac, how to search YouTube quicker, how to paste the thing you copied yesterday and forgot, and how to control your Mac itself. That's Alfred on this edition of 58 Keys. Hello, I'm William Gallagher. This is 58 Keys. And last time, previously, I enthused at you about Spotlight. And this time I want to gush at you over Alfred. There's a feature in this Alfred app that transformed how I use my Mac for the better. Five years ago now, I cannot believe that A, I didn't know about it before, and two, that it's taken me this long to look you up and tell you. Alfred, it's what's called an app launcher, and it is for anyone who uses a Mac. However, it's really for us writers. 58 Keys, it's always about how writers like you and me can get more, much more from our Macs and also our iPhones and iPads. And Alfred is one such way that I use on my Mac many times every day. And by the way, you could subscribe to 58 Keys many times every day. I'd be OK with that. Click on the 58 icon in the bottom right corner of the screen. Or if you're watching on a smart TV, get a mug of tea and go searching for the subscribe button. It is there and you'll feel all the better for hunting it down. Now, Alfred, it's an app available on alfredapp.com. OK, Alfred, it works. It works the same way as Spotlight. You press a key to bring it up, then you type something you're looking for or something you want to do. Um, it can be any keystroke, by the way, any key combination that brings it up. But I use Alfred so much that actually I've given it the command space. That's the one that's usually what calls up Spotlight. And uh, since I now realise, after talking to you, that I like Spotlight so much too, I've given Spotlight the shift command space. Since we talked about Spotlight and I realised that I was going to keep them both, Spotlight and Alfred, this is what I've done. Pretty much everything goes in Alfred, except currency conversion. I'm not sure why. I have no great preference for Alfred or Spotlight for just finding files or whatever, but I have a little preference because of this. When you search for file on Alfred, you get these command number options next to the first 10. And it's just quicker. You can tap Command 5 and be straight in the fifth one faster than you can scroll down. OK, big deal. But this is a big deal. It's Spotlight, let me insist, it's more than good enough for you, but Alfred is better. And it's not a case of choosing one over the other. Look at me, I use them both. Uh, also, Spotlight is free. Alfred has a free version, but it is limited. And I don't care. I actually got Alfred version 3 for review about five years ago. It's when I found this thing that transformed me. And the other month I bought, for, uh, bought and paid Alfred 4. So here's Alfred, the paid version. Please keep in mind, if you do like a feature I show you, it is probably in the paid version, but that's OK. Let's do straight finding files on your Mac. So uh, you search for a document in Alfred just as you would do in Spotlight. Find it, though, and you've got that command number quickness that I like. But you can also do this. You can command up arrow and pin the result to Alfred. Now, if it's a file, forever afterwards, whenever you want to go to that pinned thing, you can call up Alfred click on the icon and you're done. To get rid of those, you can open Alfred, you can press Command Delete, I think it is, and then they're all gone. To remove them one at a time, you can open Alfred and then option click on the one you don't want. But this is more useful. Let me change this to uh, three documents instead of two folders. Having gathered up three images here in this case, I can now press Command and the right arrow to get these options. Uh, let's just choose open and boom, there you are. All three images opened in preview. But equally though, doing exactly the same thing, I could choose option right arrow and email all three to you. I could move them to somewhere else together. But then that's on your Mac. Instead of just looking through your Mac, you can also use Alfred to search online. I'm not I don't think you're surprised there, but while Spot Spotlight, for example, searches Google and is very good at it, you can tell Alfred to be more specific, such as searching YouTube. Or just searching Amazon. Uh, 
or has this? Uh, you need to be a bit careful with this. It's about banking. If I type 1P, Alfred knows I want to use the app called 1Password, the password manager that I rely on a lot. If I type 1P followed by the name of a website, Alfred will open that site and, using 1Password, log me into it. I think you understand why I blurred a bit there. And you also get that I don't go all the way with this. I use one password now for it to kind of take me to my bank's front door and things like the username and password, but then not any of the, you know, the following security questions and things. Even so, uh, I check my balances every day. I'm, I'm a freelance uh, writer. It's one of the things that helps me keep on top of my business. Uh, and I, so I must use this at least seven times a week. No, actually it's more because I have multiple bank accounts. Uh, so seven times something. By contrast, here's something I would have told you I never use, text expansion. I, I do use text expansion, but I have an app called Text Expand. It's a very different app, which does this and a lot more. Nonetheless, if you've got Alfred, you can set it up so that when you type a certain couple of keystrokes, it then deletes those and replaces them with a word, a sentence, a, a paragraph, whatever you need. And now actually I do use it in one place. This is a folder I go to a lot, so I can dig around for it and click away, or I can open Alfred, type the letters WG, EP, hit return, and I'm there. Now, you can think of other ways to get to folders, uh, but once I found this, oh, I'm using it. And similarly, there is another Alfred feature that for the very longest time, and I mean years, it was all I ever used Alfred for, and it was still worth buying. It's called a clipboard manager feature. Uh, let me show you, easier to show you than say. Here's my website, okay? Now let's say I'm being really lazy and I want to copy out uh, some of the information here, but not all of it. Let's not go crazy. I'll do what anybody would. I'll select one paragraph. I'll press Command C to copy it. But then, do you know, I always want this paragraph. That's a good paragraph. Select it and I press Command C, C. So C twice. And now, Let's get somewhere totally different. Here's the New York Times. Yeah, let me go to the book section. Let's just get away from the news. Here's a headline that I really want to keep. Select it, Command CC. Now, if I nip over to somewhere that I can write, Command V to paste. Just the regular paste, nothing different. And yet here they are. Here are all three bits that I just copied. Alfred is doing that. Alfred is being a clipboard manager. Remember that I like how when you search for a file, you get all those results and the numbers down the side. That's nothing compared to this. Instead of uh, just pasting, pasting the last one, when I want to paste something that I copied five minutes ago or yesterday, I go to where I want to paste it. I hold down Shift, Command, and Tap C, and it shows me this long list, including the numbers down the side. Pick what I like, done. And there is more. There is so much more. But let me show you just two. Let me two, show you two broad things about Alfred. Starting with one that I'll show you just because I use it pretty much every day, really. I've got into a habit, actually, of controlling my Mac through Alfred. For example, if I press Command Space and then type Sleep, if I hit Return now, it'll put my Mac to sleep. Or I can type Restart and have a guess what that does. System commands, major system commands like that are included in Alfred. So much is included in Alfred that actually it's a real surprise that you can add anything to it. And this definitely is the last thing I want to show you because this is uh, can open worms everywhere. If you buy Alfred, you can use workflows. You can create a series of instructions that mean with one click or one keystroke, you set it off running all sorts of things. And if you think I sound a bit vague there, it's because I am. I don't really know how to do it. And actually, I don't have a single idea of what I would program it to do. But other people have. Uh, try alfredapp.com and the forums in there. Or the excellent packle.org. So that's like jackal with a P. Packle.org. And other places. Very many people there have created these Alfred workflows. And here's just one that I use a lot. Kill. When an app crashes on your Mac, uh, perhaps you know you, there are different ways of force quitting. There are a couple of ways to do it, and you, they work, but they're always slow. And if your Mac is really, really tied in knots, force quit sometimes just won't appear. 
actually sometimes Alfred won't either and then you know you're stuck it's pulling the plug out the back time but most of the time you can use Alfred to say kill and then name an app that's running hit return and that's gone no are you sure it is just out of here straight away speaking of out of here that's it for 58 keys this time and the gush at Alfred have a look at alfredapp.com it will actually change how you use your Mac and in the meantime Thank you very much for watching. Take care of yourself, okay? And I'll see you soon.